You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand up fighters. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not it does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Boy, Ty Plum. Look at him working at trying to shut the lip. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. And they separate. Head kick. Single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Single collar tie now. Good stick. Oh, big head to land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Here he is back in the clinch. Shot in the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Over and over he's landing these big body kicks. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. All right, single collar tie now. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knees right into the midsection. Oh! And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He loaded up there on that high kick. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. And now he's got that tight clinch. In the tight clinch, look for the knees to start. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Good punch lands. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. And a nice... Oh, man, look at that. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh! Wow! Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. Doing it here, nice punch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 
Jones with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He was taking all of that kick every time he throws it. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Okay, you ready, round two? Ready? Let's go for it. Big head kick lands. Beautiful strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Separate. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. So a combination of knees here, you don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, don't fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat of getting taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. Oh, he continues to employ that knee to great effect. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you drop like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh. Work from the bottom, tags him with the punch. And he landed the right hand there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, you man. Nice liver shot, dance. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Back to the feet now. Oh, big left hook there. Spinning back fist. Just missing on the uppercut there. Take it for a ride. And potentially a critical takedown here. Love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. 
That was oh! in the night. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh! And they clinch once again. And they separate. Final seconds here. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over. And gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Third round underway. Right punches there. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just misses with the jab. Look at him with his hip. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Takedown defense holds up. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, big shot land. Liver kick. Oh, nice kick. Oh! He needs to start looking for the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here too. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment. Ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Liliano is calling stop to this contest at 1 minute, 23 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud.